Okay, so this year I figured I'd do a little video of my new idea for the mini greenhouse inside the big greenhouse. So I ordered a new greenhouse. Oh, and wait, we're, oh, uh, uh, wait, oh, um, oh, hi, uh, we're rolling. Oh, uh, yes, I was yeah, yeah. doing a video. Thank you very much. Actually, would you like to hold the camera? Oh, yeah. Okay, thanks, sweetie. <laughs> Here we go. I do that. So, anyways. I bought this off Amazon for like 60 bucks. So we're going to build a mini greenhouse inside the big greenhouse. Merrick Life Greenhouse is what it is. I think it's about a six by six. So here's the parts. We're going to probably build it out here and then we're going to move it inside. So I'll kind of show you what it looks like. It's pretty easy. Self-explanatory. You got a whole bunch of little tubes that you shove together and then it builds a thing. So as it goes along, I'll take a couple more videos. So see you in a bit. First step is that we need to get two of the twos, one of the ones, and then four of these fours. So there's some fours here, those are threes. There's the fours, so there's the fours. So four of the fours, and then four of these nuts and the for the bolts and the wings. All right, now we'll go and put it okay. together. Okay, so we have put it together, so we got a one, and then two twos, and then we got four of the fours, and then you got your little bolt, and then your wing nut right at the bottom there. So put it all together, and now we'll move on to the next step. And look, my daughter's got it all lined up nice and neat. Way to go, Phoebe. Thank you. Okay, and now we need two of the ones, and we need six of the twos, two of the fives, two of the sixes, two of the sevens, <laughs> a daughter to help you. And then we need 10 of the longer bolts with wing nuts. And then we need two of the eights. And then you need two of the smaller bolts and wing nuts. And then four parts of the three. And now we're gonna put that all together. Okay, so now me and the girls got these laid out. And just to help you out, the directions, they're a little bit off. So this is what it needs to look like. You're gonna have a one and then two two. So that's a one there, right there's a one, and then a two and a two. So you got two of those, and then you got two fives, and a three, which is the curve. Oops, five and a three, you got two of those. And then you got an eight and a three. You got two of those. So you go eight, three, five, three, put those together. Then you got your seven and your six. This here is a seven and six. Put those together with your small bolt and lock washer. So you got two of those and then you got two of your ones that are just left over on this one. I think it was the sevens left over on the other one. So just two of those that are left over. Here's what so, it should look like. As I'm losing my light, it gives you a little view. Got the top piece right there. A few of the gotchas to watch out for. The eight and three are on the outside. Five and three, five and three. Once again, eight and three. When you put this junction together, Make sure this bar here is on the outside and make sure that the bar in the middle is in between there. And then same thing down here, bars are on the inside here, the ones running across, these are on the outside together. And then you got a two right here. So here's your one and then two, two, or I guess it's two, two, one. And so same thing there, the junction. Make sure that this bar here is wedged in between there. There you go. And that's what it should look like. Now you go, we just gotta build that same thing on the other side and it'll be ready for the top. Okay, and now for this part, we had our two sides, there are two bars at the bottom. And if you have somebody help you hold, it really does make a difference. The biggest thing, making sure on the edge pieces, it's the eight. The eight down here has two holes, boom, boom, okay? And then all we had to do was put one right there, put those together, and now 
we'll put the top on and all that we'll do with the top you just lift it up and it fits right in there and it's built okay now zoom out here there it is all put together so for my final step i'll move it inside of my greenhouse it's greenhouse inside a greenhouse and i will put the top on okay so here it is the finished product we'll take you about through it a little bit it's like I don't know what is that like seven foot tall i'm six foot so about seven foot tall and it's about 10 foot long here and then you got these sweet little windows right here so just outro you take that and then you can tie it up like that just like that and you got three of those and then you got two doors and i might turn this around i haven't decided which is my best way but you can just zipper them up. And what same thing, can you zipper both of those up? Both sides. You can roll it up. And once again, just tie it up here. Then you can come on in here, Kay. We got the back door, and on the back, it has a screen on it. So you can once again just zipper it up. Just like that. I'll, I might leave it here because. In here, I'll be using my swamp coolers, my heaters, everything. So, and then I'll bring in some stuff from up here. So, if you guys got any questions, hit me up down below. And don't forget, go Team Jacob.